Here's everything you need to know about B vitamins and whether or not you should be putting those into your regimen, maybe supplementing with them, some key specific conditions that we're gonna cover. I'm gonna break down what each B vitamin does so you know if you have one of those conditions, you might wanna focus on one of them, and then how we get them in and the difference between improper B vitamins or toxic B vitamins and the ones that you should be focusing on to get the most benefit out of the body. So let's dive into this. You'll wanna really pay attention to this video if you uh, consume alcohol, if you're pregnant or nursing, if you're you know, getting up there in age, you're starting to go past the age of 40, if you're struggling with your metabolism or energy, having more energy all day long, then this would be very important for you to know B vitamins because they're involved with so many of these processes. B vitamins are water soluble, which means that they need to be consumed each day to get absorbed and those that don't get absorbed pass straight through you. If you've ever done a large dose of vitamin B2 riboflavin, you'll know that your urine ends up really yellow, bright yellow. That's excess B vitamins just coming through the system. Now, your body will use what it can, but you wanna to top these up on a daily basis, especially if you have a specific condition related to one of these crucial nutrients. B1, thiamine. Thiamine's job is to convert energy into food. So it's very important if you are low on the energy production, you need to get thiamine into your system. Pork is a good source, and meats, sunflower seeds, even wheat germ. I don't like going towards wheat that much, but you could just supplement with it as well and get a good solid source of natural thiamine inside the system. B2, riboflavin. You'll see this oftentimes synthetically placed or fortified in your breads and your grains, and we don't want that synthetic form, we want a natural form in order to also produce energy in the body. Taking food, converting it to energy, it also acts as an antioxidant inside of the system. So to get more B2, riboflavin, inside your system, Consider organ meats, beef, or mushrooms, or supplement it with a non-synthetic, non-fortified form. Looking for more riboflavin. B3, niacin. Niacin is crucial in the cell signaling. It's a crucial enzyme in there. Helps the metabolism, also DNA production and protection. Niacin is highly involved. So B3, niacin, can be found in chicken, tuna, and legumes, lentils, beans, or you can supplement with it. B5, pentothenic acid. This is involved with cholesterol production in your body. It also helps you break down food for energy. And if you are a sufferer of hormone dysfunction, this might be the one to put in. Cholesterol playing a role like a hormone in the body is closely tied to it. So females with hormone support and men or women with cholesterol-related issues, big one to put in. Liver, fish, and avocado are important forms or food sources of this. If you're supplementing with it, look for the calcium pantothenate form. Calcium pantothenate, that is the non-synthetic form of this vitamin. B7, biotin. Biotin is essential for carbohydrate and fat metabolism inside the system. It also regulates gene expression and it's involved in the production of skin, hair, and nails. You can get it from food and salmon and eggs and cheese, or if you need higher doses for skin, hair, and nails, I recommend supplementing with it. Biotin dicalcium phosphate is the form that I recommend. It is a, a chelated form of a, a salt form of it. It's in its natural state. It's gonna absorb better and it's not synthetic. So that's the form I'd be looking for. B9, folate. This is needed for new cell growth. It's also needed for amino acid metabolism the formation of red and white blood cells, as well as proper cell division. Leafy greens, beans, even liver, great sources of folate. You should be looking for the converted form, and that is the methyl folate form, as opposed to the synthetic, oftentimes synthetic, or added form of folic acid. Your body has to convert folic acid into the usable form, so it can produce more cells, for anemia or for cell production in general, it needs the methylated, methylfolate version is the type you're looking for, as well as for B12, cobalamin. Cobalamin in the form of methylcobalamin is gonna be more of active form, that's the type you're looking to take in. Very important for energy production, neurological production, DNA production, and red blood cell development, super crucial in anemia. These are found in meats, they are found in eggs, fish, seafood, and dairy. 
That's where you can find more of it. Oftentimes people supplement with it. Just make sure it's the methylated version, methylcobalamin. Now three long forgotten B vitamins actually split off from the family years ago, but function just like them or other three very important nutrients that act just like B vitamins in your system. So I kind of lump them all together. I use these regularly. Number one is choline. Choline is super important for the protection and or the development of liver disease. Also, also atherosclerosis and brain development it has ties to degenerative brain disease when you don't have enough of it. A great source of choline, eggs. So choline was formerly known as B4. It's two other brothers and sisters are B8 and B10, formerly known as those. That is inositol and PABA. Inositol is crucial for the metabolism to crank that up to control blood sugar levels and help you burn fat properly. It impacts the mood, it impacts the hormones. PABA is beneficial also for skin, hair, and nails. So you may consider those B counterparts to be adding in to get those nutrients on top of your B vitamins, taking them all together. Gives you a well-rounded 11 B vitamin or B vitamin mineral or B vitamin derivative all in one. Now, how do you know if you should be taking a B complex? Well, a lot of people are deficient on them since they are water soluble and we're most of the time taking in synthetic fortified B vitamins, but we do need to get these in a couple billion people in the world deficient on these vitamins. Specifically, number one, those who are pregnant or nursing, folate itself is much needed for the development, especially of the brain and the neurology of a little baby. So taking in a B complex while you're pregnant as a prenatal is a very good idea. My wife, when she had her R3 babies, took multivitamin that I make because it's got a well-rounded B vitamin profile and it has the methylated version of folate, so it's already converted. Elderly, those getting older, you know, 40, 50, 60, you know, 40 year olds aren't thinking they're elderly, but we start to deplete as we age because we've just worn the system out. Our mitochondria and our energy production system just isn't what it used to be. So the older we get, the more deficient we are in B vitamins, especially B12, because it becomes harder and harder to absorb. B12 needs stomach acid in order to get absorbed. Lack less of that as we get older, we don't absorb as much. You can help this along with simply taking some apple cider vinegar in the morning, or you may try a simple juice like celery juice first thing in the morning. Helps to stimulate the hydrochloric acid. It's gonna break down the needed elements to get B12 absorbed into the body. There's certain factors that need to be activated for that to happen. You can help yourself along that it, not what you eat, but what you absorb, B12, in the methylated form will help you absorb it better. Which then applies to certain medical conditions of the digestive system, Crohn's and colitis, cancers, hypothyroidisms, anorexias. These will create deficiencies because you're not absorbing enough of the B vitamins or maybe not even eating enough of them as well because the digestive system is in such distress. Additionally, a condition that is very popular and very common, unfortunately, is a gene mutation called the MTHFR gene mutation. And this mutation can impact as many as 30% of the population and you do not have the ability and the enzymes to convert specifically folate, B9, and B12, cobalamin, into their methylated usable forms. So that's why I said it's important if you are lacking that enzyme, and a lot of us don't know if we are or not because we've never been properly tested for that gene mutation, you can request that test. However, if you are having a lot of energy issues and such, it may be a good idea. Taking the methylated form is just a way to get around a lot of that. So it's already in the methylfolate or the methylcobalamin forms. If you are taking a proton pump inhibitor, it is crucial that you get yourself on a B complex. So having heartburn, stomach acid issues, make sure you're taking a B complex so you're getting it properly absorbed because you're messing with the stomach acid. If you are on metformin, that is another one that you definitely want to be taking a B complex with because it decreases the absorption, especially of folate and methylcobalamin. Now, what can you expect adding a B complex in and the feelings and the differences? Number one is going to be the mood and the energy levels. Studies have shown that it significantly increases mental status, alertness, and mood when you consume B vitamins in their proper forms. That's going to lead to a reduction in anxiety and depression. So if you are feeling anxious or depressed, simply adding in these very simple yet super powerful B vitamins can really make a difference let alone energy levels. Most of these are responsible for taking food, breaking the food down and turning it into energy. If that process doesn't start, then you can't produce the ATP that you need. So 
for myself to support my mitochondria. I take B vitamins regularly in their proper forms. The recommended daily allowance or the amount that there's recommended is pretty low on the scale. So you'll oftentimes see a thousand or 5,000 or 20,000 more of the recommended daily allowance for B vitamins. That is not uncommon. Again, they are water soluble, so they're not building up in your body. You certainly don't need to overdo it, but oftentimes you're taking much more than recommended daily allowance. Somewhere between two to 300 micrograms to you know a gram or two a day. Some of them are in the 10, 20, 30 microgram range. Others get up to a milligram or two a day, but you can just follow the recommended daily allowance and I would look to be exceeding those recommended daily allowances, but not, you know, you don't need to go into the super high amounts, but oftentimes with B12, you amp it up and you put in 10 to 20,000% more than is recommended by the FDA because it takes a lot to get it absorbed and it requires the stomach acid and require, so a lot of it just gets burnt up or pushed through you, but that's how you can drive those levels up to get them higher. Simple blood tests can give you an idea of how much B12, for example, is floating around in the bloodstream and how much are you actually using and getting absorbed. The methylated versions are gonna help you increase those quite a bit more. If taking in a lot of niacin, you might get flushing in the skin, so just be aware of that to not overdo it. If you're seeing a lot of riboflavin in your system, you're gonna see it come out in the urine. It's gonna be more of a bright yellow color. It's fairly normal. Uh, you don't wanna overdo you know, B12 for really long periods of time. So it can create some tingling. So you can overdo anything. You can overdo water, but B vitamins are significantly lacking in our society today. And if you have one of those conditions above, I highly recommend adding them to your regimen in their proper non-synthetic form. If you need some help finding those, you can click the link below on proper B vitamins in their forms and the research that I've done and the formulas that I've put together. For some help on absorbing some of those B vitamins, consider celery juice in the morning. The extreme effects of drinking celery juice. Check out this popular video that I have. I put it right here for you as help you as a next step and check out the resources in the description below.